I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm joining you. <laughs> so you thank know. you. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez had an infamously tumultuous relationship that started and ended over and over again. Now that Justin's married to Haley Baldwin, why are they still talking about each other? And why is Justin so worried about Billie Eilish? I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber were such a cute couple, but right from the beginning, their relationship was filled with drama and rumors. And the fact that the couple kept breaking up and getting back together did not help the public's perception of them. But now, Justin and Selena have had space to reflect on what went wrong and have revealed that things were even worse between them than most of us realized. The pair met all the way back in 2009, but started out as friends until dating rumors started up a year later. They made it official in March of 2011, but in 2012, they broke up for the first time, citing their busy schedules. A mere month later, they were spotted on a ski trip and thus started their infamous cycle of breaking up and getting back together until May 2018 when they broke up for good. A month later, Justin was spotted spending time with Haley Baldwin. During an interview with NPR, Selena revealed that she feels she was a victim to certain abuse while she was with Justin. She agreed to experiencing emotional abuse and claimed that she struggled to find strength at the time instead of just viewing herself as a victim. While she said she doesn't want to dwell on the topic, obviously fans have a lot of questions about this information. She also confirmed that her song, Lose You To Love Me, is about her time with Justin. This is something many fans suspected based on lyrics like, I saw this signs and I ignore it, rose-colored glasses all distorted. I'm okay with closing this chapter and I'm okay with moving forward, which is something I've had a hard time with in the past. Lose You to Love Me helped her get closure on their relationship, but fans still had so many questions about the situation. Some answers ended up coming from a surprising source, Justin himself. He admitted during an interview with Zane Lowe for Apple Music that he was reckless while he was dating Selena, and it took time for him to calm down enough to date his now wife, Haley Baldwin. I think I still was dealing with a lot of unforgiveness and all that sort of stuff, so. Although he didn't respond to Selena's comments directly, he poured his heart out in an Instagram post about his struggles with fame, depression, and his past relationships. I was waking up in the morning and the first thing I was doing is popping pills and smoking a blunt and starting my day. He confessed to partaking in illegal substances and said he was resentful, disrespectful, and angry when it came to women. Justin said he became distant from everyone who loved him and that it took him years to establish healthy relationship habits. His experiences affected him so deeply that he told Zane Lowe he worries about young superstar Billie Eilish. Yeah, I definitely feel protective of her. He said that he doesn't want her to go through what he did and is willing to help in whatever ways he can. Because I want her to know that you know, she can count on me. In addition to his Instagram post, he claims that his album Changes is a representation of how far he's come since he first became famous. In All Around Me, he sings that he never thought he could be loyal before meeting his wife Haley, and forever reiterates this by saying he never thought he could settle down. These lyrics seem especially poignant when compared to Selena's breakup anthem, Look At Her Now. She sings it was her first real lover, his too till he had another. While Justin is clearly thrilled to have Haley in his life, Life, Selena's glad she dodged a bullet. In That's What Love Is, he claims that he never knew what love meant before he and Haley got together. While in People You Know, Selena says that she spent so many wasted nights with you. As for what their relationship is like now, Selena doesn't seem eager to talk about it. She even quietly deleted her one remaining post about Justin that she had made when they were still dating in March 2018. Based on this and her songs about moving on, it clearly seems like Selena is doing her best to leave her past behind her. But Justin hasn't been as quiet about his ex and his current feelings for her. On Instagram, he wrote that he is head over heels in love with his wife, but admitted that he absolutely loved and loves Selena and that she will always hold a place in his heart. As for Justin's relationship with Haley, they both claim it couldn't be better. Haley told Vogue magazine that Justin helps her get in touch with her emotions, and she helps him keep a level head when things get stressful. Of course, there have been rumors that Haley isn't happy about Justin's ex-girlfriend. Soon after Selena released Lose You To Love Me About Justin, Haley posted the song I'll Kill You by Summer Walker. Although Haley claimed the post was unrelated to Selena's songs, some fans were weren't convinced. But surprisingly, Haley has been liking posts on social media about Selena, so maybe there's less drama between them than people think. 
It seems as though Selena and Justin are both working to put their pasts behind them. Justin says that he is looking forward to having kids with Haley after they spend some more time enjoying married life. Selena also claims she'd love to start a family but says she's not in any rush. Until she decides to settle down, she plans on working hard and living her life to the fullest. What do you think about the relationship between Justin and Selena? Do you think they should stay friends or are they better off apart? Let us know what you think in the comments and then click subscribe for more great videos from The Taco. We'll see you again next time.